नाम सहस्रेण नित्यं भक्ति समन्विता वासुदेवाश्रयो मर्त्यो वासुदेव पारायण सर्वप विशुद्धात्मति ब्रह्म सनातन न वासुदेव भक्ता विद्यते क्वचि जन्म मृत्युजरा व्याधि भय नोपजाते इम स्तवधीया न श्रद्धा भक्ति समन्विता युज्येतात्मा सुख शांति श्रीधृति स्मृति कीर्ति न क्रोधं न चा न लोभो न शुभामति भक्ताषोत्तमे ध्यास चंद्राक नक्षत्र खम दिशो भूमहोदी वासुदेव से वीन विधृता निमनात्म सासुरासुरगंधर्वशोरगराक्षस जगद्वशे वर्तते दं कृष्ण से सचराक्षर इंद्रिया मनोबुद्धि सत्वेजो बल धृति वासुदेवात्मु क्षेत्र क्षेत्र सर्वागमाचार प्रथम परकते आचार प्रभव धर्म धर्म से प्रभुरक्षि ऋषय पितरो देव महाभूता धातव जंगम जंगम भेद जगन्नायणोद्भव योगो ज्ञान तथा सांख्यम विद्या शिवपारी कर्म च वेदाशास्त्रा विज्ञानमेत जनादनाको विष्णुर्महदूत पृथक भूतानेकशोकान्व्या भूतात्मा भुंते विश्वभुगव्य हिमस्तव भगवत विष्णोव्यास कीर्ति पथे दुषा श्रेय प्राप्त सुखा चश्वरमज जगत प्रभवाप्य भजती ये पुष्कक्षे यांति पराभव ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय यू नो ऑल आई कैन से इफ यू हैव एनी मटीरियल प्रॉब्लम्स और इश्यूज टू ओवरकम इन योर लाइफ चैन श्री विष्णु सहस और नाम दैट्स वट इट्स फोर it will bring you everything that it promises and much more huh in the last section the palashruti section so many benedictions are given but <clears throat> the last one is the best one huh yati brahma parabhavam Uh, that you will achieve that that transcendental state uh, beyond everything parabhavam the highest state bhava means a state of being and para means the the highest the ultimate beyond transcendental uh, and brahmam of course means spirit so the highest spiritual state of transcendental existence is the actual benediction of this mantra but on the way there you will also get to experience all the blessings that come to the uh, natural devotees of the lord well what are we going to talk about today 
Are there any questions? Any uh, ideas about our trip to India or the East Coast Festival? Or anything? Questions? Come on, this is a rare opportunity. You get to ask anything you want. It doesn't have to be related to the subject matter. Although that would be nice. Uh huh. Pass him the mic. <coughs> Sri Vishnu Sahasranam. Okay. There are some verses where, verse 54, where, where she says, Udhavaha. And the word, the H, Visharga, is not at the end. Um, why is that? 54. I wonder why you noticed that particular verse. <laughs> because it's always... Like, ah, because in, their, in the style of Sanskrit that, that they practice, you know, these uh, Subhalakshmi, they're from South India. So their style of Sanskrit is a little bit different from the North Indian style of Prabhupada. Uh, Prabhupada has a very thick Bengali accent. So his Sanskrit is not at all like standard. He, he kind of, Beng, the, Beng, the Bengalis kind of have their own way of pronouncing. So uh, anyway, in the style of South India, Udupi style, it's called, when you have a word that ends with Visharga and the next word begins with Ksha, you pronounce the Visharga. So it's Udavaha Kshobhano Deva. Yeah, there's a few of those. It's not just Ka, it's Ksha, that particular combination of consonants. I don't know why. That's just, that's just the way the they do it, you know. Uh, there's, an, there's a couple more like that. Um, there's one in the Falashruti, right near the end, that everybody misses, including me, most of the time. It's verse 54 we talked about. Huh? I was telling the audience. Oh. Uh, 136. Indriyani mano buddhi satvang tejo bhalang dhritihi vasudevat makan yahuhu kshetram kshetragnyae vacha. 136? Yeah, that's another one. That's real tricky because the ahuhu is right at the end of the line, and then the next line begins with ksha. And so, mm. oops, you got to pronounce it. <laughs> and it, and the, way, the way they do it is like they, they don't interrupt the rhythm. They double time it. They say, Vasudevat makan yahuhu kshetrang kshetragnyayevacha. So it doesn't disturb the overall rhythm. It's really mm. tricky. There's a couple more like that. Oh, oh, oh that, that's tricky. Yeah. There's another... Instance. There's another instance where the beginning of a verse, like A, she sings it longer, like if it was double. There are a number of places where the text that they have is a little bit different from the text that we have. Um, when I wrote this book, I mean, this, this was written back in 99, 95 or 97 or something, right around there. Uh, this when I actually did the research and all the work. I thought of reconciling the two. But the problem is the translation of the, uh, the synonyms and commentary by Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur was done from the North Indian recension of the text. And this recording is done from the South Indian recension. 
So they have minor differences in many places. You find sometimes there's a visharga or no visharga or a long A or no long A or an O instead of an A or vice versa. So, um, you know, this happens sometimes. It's not supposed to, but it does. But anyway, the differences are minor. They don't really infect, uh, affect the interpretation. There's a question from Bruce. Can you explain the significance of Tota Gopinath deity and Chaitan Chaitanya living there, the deity? Well, he wanted to be near Tota Gopinath. 